Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. You know, I did a little bit of traveling this weekend, and when I was in Oakland, California, fairly close to the airport, there's this beautiful place called the Shavit Science and Space Center. And right now I'm standing out here in the back lot with these giant telescopes. And an interesting thing happened while I was here today. I actually got to look at the sun. Now that doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but I looked at the sun, you know, actually looking at the sun through a telescope where you can actually see the fire coming off of it and all the detail and the sunspots and seeing it through this professional equipment, you can really, really uh, have an interesting experience in really connecting with the universe out there. And we, we look at it in a different way when we're dealing with our everyday problems, our challenges, the things that are going on in our life. We have a tendency to look at uh, our life as this little myopic thing, but boy, I'll tell you what, when I looked through that telescope back there and could see the sun and understood that our sun has burned off 50% of its life and it only has 50% left, which is a lot of life, However, they say it's going to be somewhat unstable from here on out because uh, on the last half of a star's life, they become very unstable because a lot of their hydrogen gases have been burnt off, a lot of their fuel is burnt off, so they become a little unstable. And uh, the guys back here tell me that's a lot of the reason we're having some of the weather stuff that's going on, like was on the East Coast over the last few days. My point today is this. You know, there's something in the world bigger than you and bigger than your problems. And really, the reason I'm saying that is your problems and challenges are really quite small if you look at the big picture. And what happens when we're looking at the small picture, which is our day-to-day -day life and the things we have to do on a daily basis, we can really get hung up on not having a lot of faith that things are going to work itself out. I believe right now we're living in an interesting time. And I know many of you are having challenges with finances and money and kids going back to school and college where the funding can be very, very difficult. I also understand that many of us have not worked for a long, long time. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to do what I just did. Across the country, there are science centers, planetariums, observatories, and places where you can learn about this magnificent universe we're in. Now, the reason I'm asking you to do this is not to have a day trip and a Disneyland trip, I want you to go specifically to a place like that and really, really get behind a telescope and take a look at what's going on out there. If you can actually see these heavenly objects with your own naked eye and understand they are real, we hear about them all the time, and it's much different than seeing the sun shine every day, knowing it's up there. It's much different when you can actually see what it's doing, that it is a living organism that it is the battery of life for everything around here. We've got to learn how to really adjust our thought process to be more tuned into today and the universe and Mother Nature. Reconnect your kids with this stuff because it's going to help them understand they're a lot stronger than they think. There's a lot of things going on that are bigger than them that they can be in control of if they can just control their thoughts today. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to plan a day trip. If you're in the Bay Area, right over here in Oakland, the uh, Shavit Space and Science Center is an amazing place. We've got the Lick Observatory here. We've got these beautiful facilities all across the country. Pal Palomar down in Los Angeles in uh, Arizona, they've got this beautiful observatory there that's amazing. Go visit one of them. You're going to be surprised what's out there. Connect with your universe. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day. Bye-bye.